guys do it this way. Can you guys see this? Okay, sponge. Is that right? Most of you are there. Uh, sponge. So these, these, th you see the little holes on the surface of the animal? Those are osteum, uh, singular ostea, poro. Osculum, the spelling is very close, right? So osculum, budding, they are asexual reproduction by budding. And then you have the blue is incurrent canal, the yellow is radial canal. Then you have little prosopyle here, then apopyles right here. So all of these black dots are apopyle. The, um, uh, the, the pink is spongocele. Do I make sense, everybody? So that's about it. There's not much in this model of the sponge. As long as you know sponge and you know osteum, osculum, radial canal, uh, incarnate canal, apopyle, all of these are apopyle, sponge seal, then you should be okay. By budding, they're multiplying by budding. Again, this one is multiplying by budding, right? So this one will separate from mother hydra and sits on the bottom of the lake. Remember, these are freshwater animals. Okay, uh, mouth, tentacles. These are all tentacles, mouth. Um, gonads, uh, the big one is right here. That's um, ovary, these are testes. Okay, gastrovascular cavity, um, gastrodermis, epidermis, and that's about it. Oh, basal disc or foot, sometimes they call them. Right here. Where the pen is. Okay. Then, uh, hydra, another hydra. Uh, tentacles, right? Um, sorry, tentacles. Uh, again, budding gonads, another budding, beginning of a budding cross section of the animal. You have slide of both of these. Uh, epidermis, gastrodermis, gastrovascular cavity. So, gastrovascular cavity. Gastrodermis, epidermis, gonad, gonad, a budding, budding tentacles. Then, right here, all of these are nidocytes with a C at the beginning. You all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, you studied that stuff. The nidocytes with a C at the beginning. So they took one of these and they put it here. So this is the nidocyte, the nucleus of the nidocyte, their cell, their eukaryotic cell. Inside, this is the nematocyst. Remember that? The nematocyst, there are three different types in your lecture notes. This is the filament of the nematocyst, so it came out. Uh, this is the entangled one, and this is the one that is just maybe using for adhesive ones. Okay? Name of organism, hydro underlined class hydrozoa. That's it. Okay. Uh, class um, anthozoa, right? Phylum uh, cnidarian. A uh, common name, flower animal, or another name for it, C. anemones, metridium, um, the name of the genus. Uh, these are the tentacles, is mouth, esophagus, all of this is esophagus. Then you have complete septum. It means complete septum, it goes from epidermis to uh, esophagus in this case. And these are incomplete septum, not this one, not that one, but these are incomplete septum. Foot, basal disc, and that's it. That's all you have to know on that. Okay, of course you've been playing with these guys for two weeks now, well some of you for just one day, but anyhow. So auricles, um, uh, the eye spots or uh, acylli, is that right? Um, cerebral ganglion, right? Cerebral ganglion. Uh, ovary, testes, the blue, uh, do not worry about bladder, gastrovascular cavity, uh, longitudinal muscle, circular muscle, uh, flame cell, flame cell, flame cell, flame cell, excretory canal, all of these are excretory canal, excretory pore, excretory pore, excretory pore, excretory pore, do I make sense? Pharynx, this whole entire thing, and the mouth is here. And these are your glands. Uh, uh, nerve cord, lateral nerve, 
transverse nerves transverse nerve nerve cord nerve cord see they look like a ladder the nerve the nervous system in these animals and all the way to the insects after insects in um, in the uh, starfish it changes in us it's not like ladder anymore our nervous system is not like ladder but these guys nervous system is like a ladder all the way all of the animals we are going to study to insects the nervous system is like a ladder so you have nerve cord nerve cord transversness 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 and lateral nerve again another one planaria class turbularia class turbularia phylum platy helminthes common name flatworms okay auricles eyes uh, gastrovascular cavity uh, diverticulum all of these are diverticulum uh, pharynx mouth excretory canals excretory pore you see that dot right there um, circular muscle longitudinal muscle excretory uh, uh, pharynx I'm sorry pharynx mouth flame cell they just took one of these cells here and they put it out enlarge it for you flame cell that's all you have to know you don't have to know the flagella cilia the duct here don't worry about all of that the nucleus again uh, nerve cord transverse nerve there is another nerve cord on this side too lateral nerve pharynx mouth um, gastrovascular cavity these are all all of the blue are testes the yellow ovary and oviduct sabral ganglion uh, acilli auricles okay uh, that was planaria Dusitia was the name of the scientific name I gave you the name of genus species I gave I think I did but anyway uh, uh, Clonorchis sinensis, class Trematoda, human liver fluke, uh, oral sucker, pharynx, esophagus, cecum, cecum, together it's called cecum, uh, yolk glands, or a vetiline gland, another name for it, um, oral sucker, ventral sucker. Uh, this is the uh, uterus. All of the brown is uterus, yolk glands, um, testes, the blue testes. You remember the blue testes? Uh, excretory, uh, yeah, excretory bladder. They call this excretory bladder and excretory pore. It goes all over the end. Oh, uh, seminal vesicles, uh, uh, ovary, Melis gland, oral sucker, pharynx. Esa uh, esophagus, cecum, cecum, uh, cerebral ganglion, uh, it's been broken, uh, ventral sucker, oral sucker, ventral sucker, uh, uterus, cecum, do not worry about that one, um, ovary, seminal vesicles, excretory bladder, and cecum again. I hope. Okay. Uh, class trematoda, I said. Clonorchis sinus is a common name, human liver fluke. Class uh, uh, phylum, platyhelminthes. Class cestoda, common name, tapeworm. Tapeworm is a common name for the whole entire class. Do I make sense, everybody? Okay, so let's go over this one. Uh, let's go over this one first because I like it better than that one. It makes it a little bit easier. Okay, scolex. Scolex, scolex of tinea uh, solium, hooks, rostellum, suckers. These are all suckers, right? And then scolex again, uh, suckers, germinative zone or neck area, germinative zone, neck area. Egg, it, inside of it was broken, got cut off. But this is the sister circus, okay? That's sister circus. Immature proglottids, mature proglottids, and ripe or gravid proglottids. So the uh, uterus, ovary, uterus, ovary, yolk glands, um, genital pore, thank you. <laughs> ripe proglottids, 
Um, these are excretory canal, the yellow nerve cord, this one, excretory canal. The uterus is full of the eggs. That's what dry proglottis is, and they lose it. In the other model, it shows it very well. So this is mature proglottis, ovary, uterus, testes. All of these are testes. All of these are testes here, right? Okay, so these are all testes. Excretory canal in green, nerve cord, okay? And then uh, circular muscle, longitudinal muscle, or the other way around. A, um, genital pore, right? So this is mature proglottis. Ripe proglottis, genital pore, you have it, but look, this is uterus. All of this is uterus, and there are some remedies of the testes and the ovary, and a little bit remedy of the oak gland. That's why they call it ripe. This is the one that breaks off from the animal, get out in the feces, and of course there are thousands of eggs in here in the uterus. It breaks, this breaks open, and then sometimes you see little of these in people feces and they're still moving, just this proglottis, like a little rice grain in the, in the feces moves, and you're wondering what the heck that is. It's a tapeworm, it's a proglottis of tapeworm. Not all of tapeworms loses their proglottis, some tapeworms release their eggs from um, the genital port. But tinea definitely, it loses a segment the pro, ripe proglottis, ripe proglottis, and again, you can see the testes and ovary and um, yolk glands, and of course, uterus look like this, but look here, look at the uterus, the whole proglottis. What did they not do? Uh, 